Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a sample Lightning Web Component and deploy the code to your Salesforce org. Lightning Web Component is a programming model for building Lightning Components. It uses core web component standards such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and JSON. We're going to use VS Code to create our first Lightning Web Component. Let's set up our development environment. First, we need to install Salesforce CLI on your computer. Next, download and install the latest version of Visual Studio Code for your operating system. Finally, we need to install the Salesforce Extension Pack on Visual Studio Code. Open Visual Studio Code, click the Extensions tab on the sidebar, type Salesforce in the search bar, select Salesforce Extension Pack, click Install. This will install the Salesforce Extension Pack and enable it. Click X to close the Extension Page tab. Now we are ready to create a project and authorize our Salesforce org. Press Command-Shift-P to show all the Salesforce CLI commands. Type Create Project. Select SFDX colon space Create Project. Press Enter for Standard. Enter your project name. Select the folder to save the project. Click Create Project. On the left pane, you will see the name of your project and the default files. Press Command-Shift-P to show all commands again. Type Authorize and Org. Select SFDX, Authorize and Org. Select either Production or Sandbox. Or you can choose Custom if you have a custom login URL. Enter an org alias and press Enter. The Salesforce login page will open in your browser. Log in to your org to authorize VS Code. You can now close your browser. When done, you will see the org alias you entered appear at the bottom left of the VS Code. Now we are ready to create and deploy our first Lightning Web Component. Press Command-Shift-P, type Create Lightning Web Component, select SFDX, Create Lightning Web Component. Enter Hello World for the name of the component. Press Enter to accept the default folder. Force app forward slash main forward slash default forward slash LWC. View the newly created files in Visual Studio Code. In the HTML file, hello world.html, type in the code. Here, we're basically adding a paragraph with P markup and a text input of a lightning card. In the JavaScript file, hello world.js, type in the code. Change handler updates the greeting variable as the user types in. The default value is world. In the XML file, Hello world.js-meta.xml, type in the code. The metadata file provides information about the component. For example, use true for is exposed to use the component in App Builder. You can also specify what type of page it can be used on app page, record page, or home page. Click the file menu and select Save All. Now we're ready to deploy our newly created component. Right-click on the Hello World component and select SFDX colon space deploy source to org. In the Output tab, view the results of your deployment. You should have received a notice that states SFDX colon space deploy source to org ended with exit code zero. This means that the command ran successfully. Open the command palette, press Command-Shift-P or Control-Shift-P for Windows. 
type SFDX. Select SFDX colon space open default org. From the app launcher, find and select sales. Click the gear icon and select edit page. Drag the Hello World Lightning Web Component from the custom area of the Lightning Components list to the top of the page canvas. Click Save, click Activate, click Assign as Org Default, click Save. Click Save again, then click the back arrow to return to the page. Now, refresh the page to view your new component. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.